Grab your blue loop band and come to sit on your ball, bringing the blue loop band around your metatarsals, your toes. Sit seated with your feet a little wider than hip distance apart so you feel that resistance. Hands on the hips. Pull your inner thighs back a little towards the wall behind you to sit up nice and tall. Brace your abs, starting with your dominant or tighter foot. Articulation from the ankle joint, no movement in the knee or the front of the thigh or groin. We're just gonna take the foot away from the body and back to parallel. Exhale it away, two, three. Inhale it parallel, two, three. Exhale, eversion, two, three. Inhale parallel, two, three. Keep that going, we evert, two, three. Working on our ankle mobility and the lateral intrinsic muscles of the feet to balance them out for proprioception, better functional movement, and injury prevention. Keep breathing into that. Very mundane exercise, but a super important one because what happens from the ground up affects the entire chain. So if you don't work your feet, you're really not setting yourself up for success. One more breath here. Go ahead and switch sides, sitting up tall, focusing on where the movement is coming from, from the ankle joint. Please don't squeeze your thigh, move your knee. It's very hard to do. So encourage your baby toe to push into that band. Come on, baby toe. Go, 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 baby toe. Come on, baby toes. So really working those lateral intrinsic muscles. Breathe into it. Exhale to open the foot from the ankle joint. Inhale to bring it back to parallel. Commit to this small articulation, this small movement for your mobility. Give me two more on this side. And then from here, we're going to grab our blue loop band and bring it around our outer thighs. And then we'll need, we'll need our red loop band and our green TheraBand. And we're gonna take the green TheraBand through the red loop band. We'll be doing our trapezius rhomboid standing with a hamstring curl. So start with your non-dominant or not a strong leg, toes on the ball so your toes are pointed and your arms are in these right angles. This is the same exercise we did seated in back work before. From here, inhale, prepare, soft bend in the supporting leg's knee, twisting over the, the standing leg, two, three. Inhale, center, two, three. Exhale, twisting, two, three. Inhale, center, two, three. Exhale, twisting, two, Three, that's all it is. Inhale, center, two, three. Exhale, twist. Soften your gaze. Imagine hands on your shoulder blades. Puff the back ribs towards those hands. Engage your back. Neutralize your pelvis. If you feel the hip flexors or the front of the thigh working too hard, tuck your pelvis under. If you feel your calves working, we'll stretch them out. Don't worry about that. That's great. You're working on stability. One more breath here. Go ahead and switch sides. Setting up on the other side. Notice that I am standing on this loop band. I'm standing on the red loop band that secures it so that I can bring it up and I can work on that trapezius rhomboid position and the rotation from the rib cage. Trying to not move my pelvis, trying to not move the ball. Very hard isolation. The thighs are together. I've got this nice hamstring curl at the top of the foot. I'm pointing it, the foot that's on the ball. Continue on, inhale, two, three, no movement, and we twist, exhale, two, three. Again, inhale, pausing, exhale, twisting. That's all it is. Inhale, pause, exhale, twist. Inhale, pause, exhale, twist one more. Inhale, pause, and exhale, twist. Let's do a quick calf release, coming over to the wall, hands on the wall, step one foot back, Drive the pelvis forward, hold it here, inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three, focus up higher than eye level. Exhale three, inhale step four, switch the legs, make sure the legs are perfectly parallel. Front knee is bent at a right angle. Back knee is softly bent so you're not locking out. Drive the pelvis forward, gaze up higher than eye level, brace the abs, inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three, exhale three, moving into our frontal plane balance. We'll need our green TheraBand. You're gonna bring it around your back. 
Insert the platter, so throw the center of it around the back, take the ends under the armpits, wrap around each hand's knuckles with the thumbs on the outside. Looks like this. The bands here is a reminder that the back ribs and shoulder blades need to puff into it so you find your upper back. I'll turn away from you so you can see my feet and the shifting that's happening. I'm gonna really work to engage my inner thighs, my toes, I'm gonna really point my feet. I'm gonna puff my back ribs into this green band to work my back and my internal obliques are gonna activate because I'm on the stability ball. So I'm gonna shift to one side, squeezing in on the ball, engaging the inner thighs. So one set of toes lifts up, hold, inhale, one, three. Exhale, one, back ribs fighting to find that band. Inhale, two, exhale, two, gaze up higher than eye level. Inhale, three. Exhale, three, shifting back to the first side, point the toes, they hover, squeeze the inner thighs, inhale, one, breathe. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, three, back to the first side, hold. Inhale, one, point the toes. Exhale, one, squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, two, back ribs pushing into that green band. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, three, final shift, shift over, brace your abs, keep your gaze up higher than eye level, inhale, one, breathe. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, three, slowly coming off of that ball, facing the wall, coming into a wall V to stretch out the front of the shoulder, hold, inhale, one, breathe. Exhale, one. Inhale, two, soft bend in the knees, exhale, two, chin up. Inhale, three, exhale, three, inhale, four, stay here, exhale, four, other side, twisting away from the arm on the wall, hold it here, inhale, one, breathe, exhale, one, inhale, two, exhale, two, soft micro bend in the elbow, make sure you're not locking it out, abs are in, knees are soft, inhale, four, exhale, four, Let's come to the floor. We'll pull our mat over to the wall, coming into legs up the wall, adductor stretch. Slowly make your way into this position. Take your hands to your outer thighs, keep your knees soft, point your toes, and slowly on your exhale, open the legs out to the side. Always an option to come out of this by holding onto the outer thighs and bringing the legs back up together, but do it slowly no matter what. We're gonna be here for a minute, releasing those adductors, getting in. Great stretch, point your toes, don't lock your knees out. Use your breath. Now's your time to really relax and breathe. Let's breathe together using our TVA breathing, keeping our belly in, breathing laterally into the side body, actively lifting up on the muscles that stop our stream of peace. So we inhale two, three, four, lift up on the pelvic floor, sustain the lift and fog a mirror. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, good. Inhale, two, three, four, soft knees, exhale, two, three, four, check your back. Make sure you're not overarching, neutral pelvis, or even tucking the butt under like a scared puppy. One more breath here. On your next inhale, soften the knees, take the hands to the outer thighs, Slowly bring the legs back up, bending the knees, coming off to whatever side feels natural, coming over to your stability ball on all fours, bringing your dominant arm into a V like you did on the wall, twisting away from it, holding it here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. Passing the ball to the other side, pushing the side of your hand into it, thumb up to the sky, shoulder plug down, twisting with the torso away from it. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. Pull the ball in and drape your body over it. Relax everything. Three breaths. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale two, three, four. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Final breath here, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Slowly making your way up to stand. Great job. 
Grab your blue loop band, place it around your outer thighs. Again, that's the blue loop band is going around the outer thighs. Bring your stability ball over to the wall for two to one squats. Hands on the hips. Feet hip distance apart. I'll dem demonstrate first, inhale, prepare. Exhale, I let my inner thighs pull me back. I shift over to my dominant or stronger leg first, kicking the other shin towards my butt. I hold it here. And then I inhale, standing up on the leg that I'm standing on. And I'll exhale that shin that I had lifted down at the top. So we're going down on two, shifting over to one, holding, and then coming up on that one leg. Let's try it together. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, let your inner thighs pull you back. Shift to your dominant or stronger leg, kicking the shin towards the butt. Exhale that air out. Inhale, stand up on that one leg. Exhale, lower the shin that was lifted. Inhale, prepare, don't lock your knees out. Exhale, let your inner thighs pull you back. Inhale, shift over to the other leg. Exhale the air out. Inhale, stand up on that leg. Exhale, lower the shin that was lifted. Soft knees, inhale, prepare. Exhale, inner thighs pull you back. Inhale, shift over. Exhale, we hold. Inhale, we stand up slowly. Exhale, the leg that was lifted, that shin lowers. Inhale, prepare, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, inner thighs pull us back. Inhale, we shift. Exhale, we hold. Inhale, we stand up. Exhale, that shin lowers. Okay, continue on with this pattern. I'm gonna give you some checkpoints to think about as you're working. Really use this ball to your advantage. Press your upper back, your shoulder blades, your back ribs, uh, the mid back into it, depending on where it's hitting. Watch out for overarching your back. So pull the belly in. Activate the lower pelvic floor. So the belly's always in. And every time you exhale, I want you to actively lift up and try to sustain the lift of the lower pelvic floor. Notice where your head goes when you get down, when you shift over. Do you turn it? Do you twist it? Do you take the gaze down? Keep your gaze of your eyes higher than eye level. This will keep your neck safe. Finish up the set you're on. And then I'm going to have you bring the red loop band around your outer thighs. So you'll switch out to the red loop band. You'll take this blue loop band above your elbows. So from here, we are going to move into a supported plank for some reverse crunches into child's pose. So we're gonna do inhale prepare. Once we're in the reverse plank, pulling out on the band that's around our, um, that's above our elbows. And for some people, they prefer it around their wrist. So play around with around the wrist or above the elbows, what feels best. But either way, you wanna feel the outer arms because you're pushing down and pulling out on the floor or the band rather. So we reverse crunch in three times and then we hold. So let's make our starting point the child's pose, which looks like this. And then we go out and we do three in outs, ending in in child's pose. And we do it again. We go out to the plank. So the more of the leg, so if it's just the top of the feet that's on the ball, that's gonna be harder than the shins or even the thighs. Go where is best for you today, like where you're able to use your abs and not overuse the front of the shoulders and the arms. So rounding in, tuck the pelvis. This is a good time to work on your pelvic flexion, rounding the low back. And when you get tired, I just want you to land in child's pose. So you're pulling out on that band that's above the arms, hands are on the floor. You can always slide the band down to the wrist if that feels better. You can lose the band altogether that's around the upper arms, but it's really to help you feel that pull out action, which is equally as important as pushing down. That takes a lot of the pressure off the front of the shoulders and we, oftentimes find the front of the shoulders and chest overworked, especially with kyphotic lordotic. Lordosis, not so much, but kyphotic lordotic, this is a major issue. So we're holding child's pose now. Stay in your child's pose. Just breathe into that. Give me one more breath. And from here, let's all slowly make our way off of the ball. We'll be moving in the transverse plane. We'll switch out that red band that was around our thighs putting the blue band back around the thighs, holding our stability ball overhead. Starting at 12 o'clock with our right leg and knee flexion, we'll take the right leg to three o'clock, picking the left leg up immediately, kicking the butt with it, and we're gonna pitch forward into a deadlift. 
tapping the ball down to the floor three times. So coming up and down. So we exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. So part of this exercise is the step to balance in the transverse plane where 90% of injuries occur. So please don't leave this part out. Face me, right leg up in knee flexion. Quarter turn, put the right foot down at three o'clock and pick the left leg up, hold it up, three deadlifts. Exhale down, two, three, inhale, lift, two, three. Exhale down, two, three, inhale, lift. Keep that going, you can go slower. Don't go quicker than that, that's pretty brisk tempo. Finish up the one you're on, turn and face me back at 12 o'clock, right leg up to knee flexion, quarter turn again onto the right leg, left leg lifts. And three more deadlifts here on your own time, bracing your abs, using your breath. Once you've completed those, turn and face me and now it will be the left leg that will be in knee flexion. We'll turn from 12 o'clock to nine o'clock, right foot kicks the butt and we tap down for three. Three deadlifts, soft bend in your supporting knee, don't lock your supporting knee out. Equal pressure between the inner and outer edge of that foot. Finish up the set you're on, Turn back to me, final set, left leg knee flexion. It turns from 12 to three, you put it down, other leg comes up immediately, find the balance. Three deadlifts, soft bend in the supporting knee. So these look more like warrior three as you're going back. You're extending the leg behind you, getting nice workout with that resistance of the blue band on the hamstring. Excellent for the conditioning the hamstrings. Keep breathing, finish up that last one. Wonderful. From here, if you have tight hamstrings or a tight low back, you may want to hold a block. I'll show what that looks like. We're going to bring our roller over to the wall, bar, or counter with a circular part against it, hand on the wall, slowly stepping up onto it. We're going to do a forward fold, walking the hand on the wall down, using the block if necessary at the bottom. Keep your abs engaged. Hold it here. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. And feel free to lose the block if it's not necessary. Here in this forward fold variation, you have to keep your abs engaged. If you don't, your proprioception and your balance is really gonna waver. So keep the knees soft, belly in, activate the lower pelvic floor by lifting in and up on it. Keep breathing into the side body and upper back. Shoulders plugged down, back of neck released. Facial muscles soft, jaw soft, eyes in the sockets are soft. You're hearing your breath, hang in there. On your next inhale, rounding up, take the hand closest to the wall, to the wall, the other hand to the hip. Keep your abs engaged, slowly coming up. From here, you can use the, you can use the block for this variation as well if you'd like. We're just gonna twist and we're gonna fold over our outside leg. So it's just a different variation. The goal is to have the outside hand behind the roller and the inside hand in front of the roller. But if you're not there today and both hands are in front, but towards the outside of your outside leg, that's fine as well. Hold it at the bottom, bracing your abs. Don't disconnect, don't close your eyes. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one, let go of the neck. Keep the low belly firm. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale three. Inhale four, going to six. Exhale four. Inhale five. Exhale five. Inhale six. Exhale six. Let's slowly round up. And again, you're gonna want, wanna walk center. Take the hand to the wall, other hand to the hip. Tuck your pelvis, bend the knees, round up using the low belly, pulling it in, lifting up on the lower pelvic floor. Slowly letting the blood settle and then stepping off. We'll take it to the other side. We won't do the center one. We're just going to do the side one. Brace the abs as you begin to go down. Take your time coming into it, framing the roller with your hands if you can or keeping them in front but towards the side of your outside leg. Let go of the neck. Keep the abs engaged. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. Don't lock the knees out. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. There's a bend in the knees. Exhale, you try to straighten the knees a little, pulling the inner thighs back, but don't lock them out. Keep going with that. Inhale, two, three, and exhale, two, three, two more. Inhale, two, three, and exhale, two, 
three, one more. We inhale, two, three, and exhale, two, three. Inhale, walking to center, inside hand to the wall, outside hand to the hip, tuck the butt, brace the abs, lift up on the lower pelvic floor, keep the knees soft as you round up, slowly making your way off of the roller. Great job. Grab your five pound weight and your stability ball, coming into a wide second position with parallel legs. Turn your right toes to 12 o'clock and your left toes to 9, 30, 10. Deeply bend the front knee, coming into warrior two. Take the same hand as the front leg onto the ball, the fingertips, holding the weight in the same hand as your back leg. We're gonna do a row to press, looks like this. Inhale, I row and I press. My head turns and follows and exhale. I bring it down slowly. Notice that I stay low in my front leg. Let's begin, brace your abs. Inhale, we lift. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, we lower. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, we lift. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, we lower. Two, three, four, five. Keep that going, we lift. Two, three, four, five, and we lower. Two, three, four, five. One more and lift. Two, three, four, five, and lower. Two, three, four, five. From here, turning back to me, nice and parallel, wide second. Turn your left toes to 12 and your right toes to 233. Bend deep into the Left leg, brace your abs, switch the weight, switch the hand on the ball, and here we go. Rowing up, two, three, four, and slowly lowering, two, three, four. Let's take that five count, we need a little longer. Inhale up, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lower, two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lower, two, three, four, five. Two more, inhale up, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lower, two, three, four, five. Final one, we lift, two, three, four, five. And we lower, two, three, four, five. From here, let's set the weight to the side, grab our stability ball. We're gonna hold it overhead, soft bend in the knees, still in that wide second position. And we're gonna inhale, prepare for a standing saw. Exhale, twisting, tapping the ball to the outside of the foot. Inhale, back up. Try to not lock your knees out. Exhale, twist and tap, alternating sides. Inhale and lift. Exhale, lower, twist, two, three, four. Inhale, lifting up. Keep your abs engaged. Exhale, twist two, three, four, inhale, lift, two, three, four. Keep that going at that slow tempo. Stay cognizant of your feet. Are you rolling in or out? Can you equalize the pressure between the inner and outer edge of your feet? Is your belly pushing in and out? That's horrible for the back. Keep the belly in on this, especially because you're going forward. Actively, on every exhale, tug up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Inhale, breathe into your side body and back. Fill it up like an opera singer would. Keep that going. And from here, we'll set the ball to the side, grabbing our roller. We need to tie our green TheraBand to the roller a quarter of the way in and bring our red loop band around our ankles. If this is too heavy, you can always go back to the red, you can always go back to the green loop band from level two. So I'll demo first. We're gonna be doing a step to balance in the sagittal plane coming into our hamstring kickback, which we did in our lower body series with our arm and shoulder flexion. Looks like this. Once I get into the position, I'm gonna give myself a bit longer because it takes a second to set up. I am going to challenge myself to take the hand that's on the wall bar or counter off and see if I have my balance. And I'll test that for about three breaths and then we will move into our step backwards to balance. So let's start with our step forward to balance together. Bringing the inside foot into the hamstring kickback, the outside hand into shoulder flexion, chin up, gaze higher than eye level, supporting the legs, knee is soft, toes are wrapped around the roller. Both sets of feet, toes are pointed. Breathing, test your balance, see if you've got it. 
and slowly bend the knees and step in front of the roller. Watch me first. I'm gonna inhale, same leg that was just my standing leg will step up again, but I'm stepping backwards, trying to find my balance, bringing again that inside foot into the band, hamstring kick back, and that hand comes up to shoulder flexion. Give it a go, brace your abs, always hold onto the wall for the step back. If it's too scary to you, do it on the floor. Find it, hold, inhale one, breathe, exhale one. Inhale two, toes pointed, exhale two. Imagine my hands on your shoulder blades, puff the back ribs towards my hands, Engage your upper back. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Turn yourself around. We'll start with our step forward to balance. Once you're set up, you've gotten the inside foot into the band. Outside hand to shoulder flexion. Test the balance. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale, three, soft bend in the knees, slowly stepping in front of the roller. This is the scary one, take your time. Step back onto a parallel foot with a soft bend in the knee, hand on the wall. Try to not look down, it throws your balance off, belly is in. Lift up internally on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Feel your pelvis ground down towards the roller, hold it up. Find that hamstring curl, test your balance. Inhale, one, breathe. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, soft bend in the supporting leg's knee. Slowly make your way off of the roller, setting the bands to the side, grabbing your trigger ball, which is a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball. If you don't have one of these, you can use your foam roller for this. We're gonna come to lie on our side. You can bring the anti-burst ball under the side of the head. If you have a yoga block and you're using a trigger ball, you can use that to pin the block and elevate it a little. Otherwise, foam roller is fine. We'll start with the posterior tibialis of our dominant or tighter leg. So below the knee, rolling in that fascia. Go ahead and get in there, and then we'll move to a different spot. So really roll that out. Give it a lot of attention. Breathing in. While you're here, don't check out with your belly. Don't push it out, keep it in. Shoulders plug down, chin up, gaze higher than eye level even here. Don't look down at what you're doing, it strains the neck. The more we can reinforce neck, great neck alignment, the more free our neck will be and the less pain we'll experience. Couple more breaths. If you've worked those knots out, feel free to go above the knee. Play around with right above the knee. And if you don't feel a spot, I'd encourage you to keep digging and moving it around because typically it takes a minute to find that spot. I want you to really breathe here. Take your time, inhale. Brace the abs as you move that around, finding those spots. Inhale. Another 20 seconds or so on this side and then we'll move to our non-dominant side to finish up. Hang in there, I know this can be sensitive. Circular motions back and forth or just leaning in. Let's take our final breaths on this side together. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Let's take it to the other side slowly, setting up on the other side. Rolling that posterior tibialis below the knee first, out. Once you get those spots, it's gonna feel great. It's just a nice way to release after all this hard work. Watch out for the chin, don't drop it down. You don't need to watch. Your body can, your leg can pin that ball without you looking. Circular motions, lean side to side, dig in, breathe. Option to take it above the knee now, medially right above the knee, or stay with that posterior tibialis. Play around, find those tender spots, work out that tension, the self-myofascial release will really increase the range of motion and help you reset if you had any tracking problems as you were working out today. So the spot above the knee, if you experience back pain or upper knee pain, this can be a great tool for resetting and helping alleviate that. So I'd encourage you to do that when you're experiencing low back or upper knee pain. Finish up here. 
coming to a comfortable seat. Great job.